Welcome to this Giftworks video. In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to upgrade from a previous version of Giftworks to Giftworks 2015. Giftworks 2015 was released in the fall of 2014 and contains a number of new and upgraded features that many organizations are going to find really helpful. Well, let's get started. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the version and the edition of Giftworks that I'm currently using. To do that, I'm going to go to the top of Giftworks and click on the Help menu and click on About Giftworks. When I do that, I'm going to see that I'm using Giftworks 2014, that's my version, and I'm using Giftworks Standard, that's my edition. Some of you may also be using Giftworks 2014 Standard. Others of you may be using an older version, that is Giftworks 2013, Giftworks 2012, or even older. And others of you, and some of you may be using Giftworks Standard. Others of you will be using Giftworks Premium, and even others of you may be using Giftworks Pro. Now, this video will address those of you using any version, so it's 2014, 13, 12, and even older, and it will primarily address those of you using Giftworks Standard and Giftworks Premium. Some of you who are using Giftworks Pro, the instructions will be slightly different, and I'll make sure to mention those differences as we go through the video. There's another audience of you who may be watching this, and that is those of you using Giftworks Anywhere. Keep in mind that Giftworks Anywhere is a hosted solution, and we will actually be upgrading Giftworks Anywhere for you, and so the steps here will not be necessary. There will be some instructions that you'll need to be following, and you'll get those instructions emailed to you, the contact at your organization. Make sure you just prepare properly uh, for when we're going to be upgrading Giftworks Anywhere. But like I said, this video will be primarily for those of you using any uh, previous version of Giftworks, that is 2014 or older, and uh, Giftworks Standard Premium will be the primary focus of this video, and I'll make sure I make mention of some of the differences for those of you using Giftworks Pro. The first thing I want to do as we start our upgrade process is the, probably the most important step of all, and that is to ensure that your Giftworks information is safe and secure. And to do that, to make sure it's safe and secure, I'm going to want to do a backup. Before we upgrade, even though we don't envision there's going to be any issues with upgrading, we always want to make sure we have a good copy, a safe and secure copy of our Giftworks information. So to do that, I'm going to go to the settings area of Giftworks, and I'm going to go, and depending on your, your version of Giftworks, this menu may be slightly different, but you're going to want to find the place that you can back up your database. I know it's, for me, it's uh, under importing, exporting, and data management. I'm going to say manage my Giftworks database, and I'm going to click on backup the database. And so I'm just going to choose a location where I want to store this backup, and I'm just going to put it in my documents folder, and I'm going to name this backup. So I am going to call this Giftworks, I'll just call this Pre-Upgrade Backup, and I'll put a date on there, 2014-09-01. And I'll click on Backup Now. It's going to go ahead and it's going to do a backup. My data, Giftworks database is pretty small, so uh, my backup just took a moment. Yours may take a little bit longer depending on how much information you have in Giftworks. In a moment, we're going to make sure our backup is okay, but while I'm here, I want you to jot down something. You'll notice at the top here, it says lo under this location or next to this location area, it gives you the location of your Giftworks database. In my case, it's in my Documents and Settings, Administrator My Documents folder, and my Giftworks database is called MyOrganization.gds. I want you to write this down. We're going to need this information for later. Now, you may already know where your uh, file is, your Giftworks database file is, so you may not need to write it down, but for those of you who are not real familiar with where your GDS file is located, that is your GDS file, your Giftworks data store file, you're going to want to write down this full location. We're going to need it after we do our upgrade to be able to um, just verify or to be able to select where our existing database is. So make sure you write that uh, location down. Now just a quick word for those of you using Giftworks Pro, uh, because you use Microsoft SQL Server in conjunction with Giftworks, you're going to want to make sure that you know the location or the server that your Giftworks connects to, that is the SQL Server name, and you're going to want to also have the credentials, the username and password uh, to be able to connect to that. You're going to need that information um, after you upgrade. You're going to need that to reconnect to your Giftworks database on Giftworks Pro. Now let's go check to make sure our backup is okay. So if I go over to my documents, I'm going to see under, I think I call it Giftworks Pre-Upgrade Backup, you can see it right there. Now that my backup's all set, I'm ready to get started with upgrading Giftworks. So the first thing I'm, I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to download Giftworks 2015. The way I can do that, I can go to our website. You can go to giftworksconnect.com, and there's a number of ways you can download Giftworks. You could click on the Try Giftworks. You could click on the Try Giftworks free link, uh, which will have you fill out a form and it'll download Giftworks. Or you can go to our support 
uh, site. If you go to our support site and on the right-hand side, just need to, you can click on Need to Reinstall GiftWorks and you'll see a link to GiftWorks 2015. Or you can just navigate right to Download slash GiftWorks. And when you do that and hit Enter, you're going to see a, a download begin. Now, this is downloading GiftWorks 2014 because we haven't even released GiftWorks 2015. Um, but uh, as of... Um, Late September of 2014, you'll be able to download GIF First 2015. So whether you download it using the Try It Free or click the Need to Reinstall GiftWorks link or just go to giftworksconnect.com slash download slash giftworks, you'll be able to um, you'll be able to download GIF First 2015. So when you do that, you're going to want to download GIF First 2015 to somewhere on your computer. Um, an easy place is to download it to your desktop. So you can see, I'm going to let me show you my desktop. You can see that on my desktop, I've installed, I've downloaded GIF First 2015. Now I want to go back, and I'm going to go to GiftWorks, and uh, I have my backup all set, um, and now I want to close GiftWorks to be able to upgrade GiftWorks you're going to want to have to close any existing open versions of GiftWorks as well. So let me go ahead and click that. It's going to close that. And now, now that I've downloaded GiftWorks 2015, I'm going to just double click on GiftWorks 2015 and I'm going to click on Run. When I do that, you're going to see GiftWorks begin to install. And it's a fairly quick install process, but one of the things it's going to do, and you'll be able to see it here in just a moment, is it's going to uninstall the previous version of GiftWorks for you. So you're not going to have to do that. It'll do that for you. I'm going to click on Next. Let me just go through this, accept our software license agreement. Click Next. Uh, if you are using GiftWorks Events or GiftWorks Volunteers, you're going to want to, um, if you're using either one of those, you're going to want to install them here. So keep those, uh, keep one or both. Or um, if you're not using either, you, don't, you can uncheck both. Um, but if you want to get, uh, if you want to make sure you're upgrading those, add-ins as well, you're going to want to keep those checked. Or if you just want to get started and try one of those out, uh, GiftWorks Events or GiftWorks Volunteers, you can install them here as well. So um, if you are using them, just make sure you check the appropriate one. Or if you want to get started using them as well, you can do that also. So I'm going to click on Next. Now you'll see a, a little note here at the bottom. After you click Install, there will be a brief pause while the previous version of GiftWorks is removed. So that's going to happen for us. In some cases, like it says here, some uh, during the installation, the uninstallation process of the previous version of GiftWorks, it may need to re uh, restart your computer. If it does, you can just go ahead and after your computer restarts, you can just double click the installation process again and it'll go continue to go through. So let me click on install. This is going to go ahead and it's going to uninstall. Right now it's actually uninstalling the previous version of GiftWorks, so GiftWorks 2014. And it's going to, after it's done that, we'll, be, we'll see the GiftWorks 2015 installation process begin. So we'll just it should be done here in just about a second. And once it's done, it'll start to install GiftWorks 2015. There we go. So now it's beginning to install GiftWorks 2015. And it's going to go through and just go through the normal installation process. Now, while this is installing, I just want to give you um, some other resources that are available to you. Let me switch over back to our website. Um, oops. If I go to our website and I click on the support link over on the right hand side, and if I scroll down, you'll see that there is a link to read a guide or a manual. Um, and so if you want to do that, and you click on read a guide or a manual, you're going to see a list of guides and manuals for GiftWorks 2015, uh, which include things like the, the, the manual, the import guide, and so on. Spe specifically, uh, another resource that can be helpful, especially during the upgrade process, is the GiftWorks Upgrade Guide. Um, and if you're using GiftWorks Pro, there's also a GiftWorks Pro Upgrade Guide, so make sure you keep that in mind. That's available at our website by clicking on the support link and then read a guide or a manual. Let's go back and check on our installation process. It's still finishing up this part, and then it is because I left those checked, the events and volunteers options checked. It's going to also take me through those processes very quick as well. So now it's beginning the GiftWorks event installation. So I'm just going to go ahead. This will just take a couple seconds as well. And then after GiftWorks events, it's going to take me through the GiftWorks volunteers installation. Remember, if you didn't check those boxes because you're not using GiftWorks events or volunteers or you don't want to, then it, you would not be going through this process. It's going to be finished with events in a second. There we go. And now I'm beginning volunteers. 
So let me go through and just click Install GiftWorks Volunteers. In the same way, GiftWorks Volunteers and GiftWorks Events, they will also uninstall the previous version of Gift previous version of GiftWorks Events of Volunteers, and then it'll install the new one. So it, it's done that as well. So now it's done everything. It's installed GiftWorks. In my case, GiftWorks Events and Volunteers as well, and it's ready to actually launch GiftWorks. And I'm going to let it go ahead and do that. Let me size my screen. And we'll see that I have now installed GiftWorks 2015. Now I'm going to just go ahead and click on Gift for, Try GiftWorks Free. If you've uh, purchased the upgrade or um, you get the uh, upgrade, you probably received some instructions through email. And if so, you're going to probably have a license key. If so, you're going to enter, want to enter that software key in here very carefully. Make sure you get all the, the characters correct once you do that. But I'm going to click on Try GiftWorks Free to start a three, uh, free 30-day trial, which you can do as well. Um, and once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and register this information. And I'll just say John Smith. So I'm just going to go through here very quickly. Provide my registration information. My organization. Mm -hmm. There you go. And just be sure to let us know how you heard about us. And click on Next. And great, I've gone through. I'm going to go ahead now, buy later, and I'm going to go through a very quick uh, startup process. Now, this is once I get to this point, you're going to see this screen, and I'm going to want to select a GiftWorks database. Now, this is where you're going to want to refer to that location that I had had you write down a little bit earlier. That was the location of your GiftWorks database. Now, when we go to choose this option, open existing database, you're going to want to navigate to uh, or browse to the location of where that uh, database file is. So you're going to want to go to that location. So in my case, if you remember, it was my documents. Uh, if I start at the beginning, I would go to C, um, Documents and Settings, Administrator, My Documents, and that's where how I got to mine. I click on My Organization. That's the full name of the file that um, of the location that I had written down before. Now I'm going to click the Next button when I'm all set. And I'm going to click on my user account just to identify yourself as your user. Click on Done. And when I do that, I'll get back to my sign-in page of GiftWorks. You'll notice that it's GiftWorks 2015 standard. If you want to verify, you could go back to that Help About GiftWorks menu option. And you can see GiftWorks 2015 standard in my case. Now, we've installed GiftWorks 2015, and you may think that the upgrade process is over. But there's one more step that we need to do, and it's very simple. When we go to sign in to GiftWorks, I click on the sign in button, you're going to see a, a little message that comes up that says that a database upgrade is needed. So we've upgraded GiftWorks as it's installed on your computer. And we've upgraded it from GiftWorks 2014, in my case, to GiftWorks 2015. But now, once I'm uh, actually signing into my GiftWorks database with GiftWorks 2015 for the first time, it's going to let me know that GiftWorks also needs to update my, my database, my GiftWorks database. It's, it's adding the information in the database that's going to make it compatible with, with GiftWorks 2015. Uh, now, in this case, uh, and in most cases, uh, meaning when you're upgrading from GiftWorks 2014 or 13 or 12, the upgrade process is very simple. Now, if any of you are upgrading from GiftWorks 2006, a really old version of GiftWorks, there may be a number of other questions or a number of other things that happen uh, during the upgrade process. But for most of you, this process will be uh, very simple. All you need to do is click the Upgrade button. It'll go through, and it's going to upgrade the, the GiftWorks database for you. You may have more steps than I had if you're using an older version. It may have a number of other steps, but uh, generally speaking, for all of you, it should be fairly quick and, and pretty easy. Uh, if you have a lot of information in GiftWorks, that upgrade process could take a long time. So be patient. It literally could take, you know, it could take 10, 20 minutes even if your GiftWorks information, uh, if you have a lot, a lot of GiftWorks information. So just keep that in mind. Now, once I've uh, signed into GiftWorks after I did not only my, my uh, software upgrade that is installed on my machine, but now I've upgraded by signing into GiftWorks, upgraded my GiftWorks database by signing into GiftWorks. And now I'm ready to start using GiftWorks 2015 and all the new features that GiftWorks 2015 has to offer. Be sure to keep an eye out for the other videos that we've created uh, that go over all the different features and capabilities that GiftWorks 2015 offers. And we do hope that all these new features and all these new capabilities help to make your organization even more efficient and effective in your fundraising so that you can accomplish your mission. Thanks for watching.